know, 1969 seems like a long time ago now, but it was a time of a lot of change in the world. And I didn't even realize that I was in quite the center of it for a long time. But um, I went to church and it was the first time that I'd been to a church where people talked about Jesus as though he were alive. And I thought, you know, it was almost like walking into the Flat Earth Society. Like, really? They didn't hear that he died a long time ago, cross, all that stuff, you know? I really had never realized that people thought he literally raised from the dead. I thought he, you know, died and then went to heaven like your grandma did. Um, so people talking about Jesus in the present tense was very odd to me. And I went back the next week thinking, after a whole week of thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful to think that the God of the universe was still alive and he cared about me. <laughs> so um, I prayed with them. I prayed for Jesus to come into my heart, for the Holy Spirit to fill me and give me the power to live a Christian life, but I couldn't picture what that would look like on me. I was a hippie. I, being good was not on my list of things to do. And so I went home and I was so excited. I mean, I just felt like I met the most wonderful new friend and I wanted to tell everybody about it. And most of my friends, well, actually most of my friends said, well, I want whatever you're smoking. Um, but a lot of people were very disparaging. Oh my gosh, you sound like my grandmother. And we all were into music, so I tried to find music about Jesus, and I found that there wasn't really any contemporary music. There wasn't such a thing as contemporary Christian music then. Um, there wasn't, the closest you might be able to come was gospel quartets, but they seemed very old fashioned to me, very, you know, down by the old mill stream, but with Jesus, you know. And so I finally thought, well, what if I write a song? At least then, my friends, would hang out for all three verses before they stopped to argue with me. And what I didn't realize, I sang it for my kid's sister first, because that was the most important person to me. And what I didn't realize is that it would be a song that meant so much to so many people that I would get woven into God's plan for a generation of people. And one of the things Nancy Wilson says, is that it's great to be a Christian for a long time because you get to see what grows out of some of the seeds you planted. So these were seeds that I planted 50 years ago this month. And 50 years ago this summer was when I first met Jesus and when I first started writing songs to try to share about him to my friends. And, you know, at one point I had the song in 12 different languages. I met people that sang this song at underground churches when there was an Iron Curtain who sang the song at risk to their own lives. Um, I had people who never dreamed that God could love them after they came out, find out that I was gay and think, wow, you know, wait till I tell my mom that the person who wrote her favorite hymn is gay. <laughs> I think I got added to a lot of Baptist pastors and moms. Um, but the most important thing to me was that people got it, that the message was there and you know when I wrote it I thought I have a lot of questions I don't know why Jesus would choose me um, and, I, and I and I don't feel like I've done anything to deserve the goodness of God that wasn't I don't know that deserving thing it was always a sticking point for me um, but I realized that the answer was always going to be the same no matter what the question was, and it's been true for me for 50 years now, no matter what the question was, the answer was always the same. And Jesus said, come to the water, stand by my side. I know you are thirsty, you won't be denied. Encyclopedia of Contemporary Christian Music, and most of the history of Christ contemporary Christian music counts this as the first contemporary Christian song now at 40 years old. I know that's, you know, an old title to be holding, but I think it was such a gift to us.
that that gift came to our community. You said you'd come and share all my sorrows. You said you'd be there for all my tomorrows. I came so close to sending you away, but just like you promised, you came there to stay. I just had to pray, and Jesus said, come to the water, stand by my side. I know you are thirsty, you won't be denied. I felt every tear drop, when in darkness you so great I can't understand and dear Lord I know that all this was planned I know you're here now and always will be your love loosed my chains and in you I'm free but Jesus why me Y Jesús dijo, ven a las aguas y puedes tomar la sed de tu vida. Yo puedo quitar.